Hey friends, welcome back. I am in Asheville right now for an emergency dental appointment. So not getting off to the best start of what I was hoping would be a few reset days. Today is Friday. I was hoping to have a super productive work uh, day at work and then like lead that into a amazing an amazing weekend but i had to kind of take half day off work drive the two hours here to Asheville for my emergency dental appointment lame but at least they were able to fit me in thank goodness I'm done with the dentist things did not work out as planned it was a lot worse than anticipated I am in pain. I cannot wait to get home and get ibuprofen. I've run out of purse ibuprofen, worst thing ever. Uh, I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru. Uh, the Starbucks, my normal Starbucks in Asheville that I used to go to, when I lived there, is closed. I'm assuming because Asheville still does not have drinkable water post the hurricane. They're still under a boil water advisory or warning or whichever it is. Please. Thank you so much. has gotten away from me my friends I spent the morning talking to family and friends on the phone and doing some online shopping last night I ended up just taking it easy uh, you saw that I ordered myself some sushi uh, for dinner first time I've had sushi since I've moved to Charlotte so that was a nice little treat after my unexpected emergency dental appointment I am going to do a target run right now though they have some great sales right now. So I'm gonna pick some things up. I can't bring you with me though. I know, I'm so sorry, I know. But I need you to charge while I am at the store. So I will see you guys when I get back and then we're gonna knock some things off the to-do list. in my of my space right now some candles going I just poured some wine and I'm going to watch a little bit of a Bridget, Bridget Jones diary before I 
get back to do some more editing. I just feel the desire to watch some of this. I heard there's another Bridget Jones coming out soon and I'm pretty pumped. Moira just almost spit me. She's not feeling the vibes. Or maybe she is, and that's why she wanted to bite me. <laughs> Anywho, I think I'll call it an evening here as far as our hangout. Uh, I'm excited for this cozy evening. Oh, before, let me show you my light. I don't think you guys know that my light was getting put in. Ooh. Where's my face there? Uh, you know, I made the appointment to have my light fixture swapped out in my living room. Here she is. I currently have, so I did smart light bulbs. So I currently have it set to like Honolulu. I don't think it shows that great in the camera. It is orangey red-ish. Pretty. I had it on like blood moon earlier but it gets like blue blue light so we know that's not great this at six o'clock at night so anyway um i will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning i woke up and took a shower i if you guys do you guys if you guys saw my recent video where I try to establish an early morning routine, uh, failed, <laughs> but that included switching my morning, my showers to the morning. I've been a nighttime showerer for so many years now, um, but I have not yet given up on the thought that I would be more consistent in working out if I worked out in the morning. So I have continued uh, to shower in the morning, even though I'm not waking up early enough <laughs> to uh, work out before work. So, but you know, maybe maybe we're baby stepping our way there. <laughs> Showers first, then we'll come waking up early enough. Anyway, I, I have just been enjoying a calm morning. I... Actually, my window's open right now, and aside from the occasional crazy car that drives down my road, I can hear the birds chirping. It's just so nice. Moira's loving the windows open. She's laying in the sun. Um, I placed a grocery order for pickup. I love that I was able to do it this morning and I can pick it up later today. It's, it's just one of my grocery stores has that like availability. Ooh, my coffee just finished brewing, so I'm going to grab that and continue to have a slow morning. And then I'll be off to, I have to pick up a prescription and then my groceries. And then this afternoon, I'm gonna get to like the laundry and kind of finishing up cleaning because there's always more cleaning to do. But I'm just enjoying our space this morning. There's just something about it. Maybe there's something about a morning shower. Maybe that's part of why I'm feeling so good this morning. Like I'm feeling, I don't know, grounded, peaceful, centered. It's just good vibes. I'm feeling good vibes. Ignore the chaos behind me. Let's do a little grocery haul. We have bagels, everything bagels. Muffins, banana walnut muffins. Uh, cherry tomato, cherry tomato. Ooh, these crackers. I recently ordered these because they were on sale. They're still on sale, so I got two. Some basil. We know we love it. More of this cheese. If you saw my little cheese here. If you saw my re uh, my try to wake up early vlog, <laughs> some of these ingredients might look familiar. I'm, I'm gonna make another of that pasta dish. It's easy, it makes so much, and it's good. So with, I wanna think hard on food, so that's what I did. Blueberries, I almost said tomatoes. These are definitely strawberries. What fruit are Americans eating in the summer? <laughs> I mean, in the winter. We're headed to winter in the US. I 
I need fruit in my life, right? Like that's what they tell us. And um, I just don't know what to eat in the winter. Like those will not taste good. Blueberries, strawberries are not in season, but they still have nutrients even if they don't taste good, right? Some cheddar from my crackers. Broccoli, I'm gonna put some broccoli this time. I still have spinach left over, but I'm gonna put broccoli in the pasta bake as well. Some crumb cheese for the bagels and then cookie dough that I can eat raw because tell me why I've been craving raw cookie dough. No idea, no idea. That's not normal for me, uh, but that's why I got this. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I think we have to go do laundry because laying down here reading, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> And I don't want a nap. So, laundry it is. Oh, and you know what? Don't let me forget when we're upstairs doing laundry, we should also um, gather trash. All right, let's, let's head up there. Monday morning for me, <coughs> excuse me, and I did it. I woke up early, yeah, early for me. If you caught my recent vlog where I completely failed at setting a new wake up time of 5.30 a.m., I set my alarm today for 6 a.m. I snoozed once, I have never broken the at least snooze once. So we really got up at 610 <laughs> and showered, which is also part of the new morning routine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So showered, woke up and showered. So good job us. <laughs> when we recently tried my early morning routine, I had a thought of like, maybe it's not motivating enough to wake up at 530 because I'm not actually yet trying to go to the gym. So, which is the whole point, right? I wanna work out before. I mean, the idea of like waking up early and getting my day started sounds amazing. But really the, the shift here is that I wanna work out before work because I think if I wake up, work out, I will be more consistent. And cause consistency is all that I ask of myself. I am not gonna ask for perfection. No, 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 that's mean. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we are scheduled for a 610 uh, Orange Theory. Yeah, so one of my takeaways from our failure week was that I need to, so I take vitamin D and B at like at my lunch, like noonish. Um, if I don't, I cannot. I really struggle to stay awake throughout the rest of the day. Not that I can't, I just struggle. Um, so one of my takeaways was maybe I need to take that earlier in the day uh, because obviously to wake up early, 
I need to go to bed earlier because I require my sleep. Like I'm not someone who can be like, oh, I'm gonna wake up early and just sacrifice sleep. I wish. I actually wish I was someone who didn't require so much sleep. I mean, I would sleep 12 hours, 10 hours a night if it fit into my schedule. It just doesn't. So I have an alarm to remind me to take my vitamins every day. So I'm gonna try to set that for 10.30. It seems really early, um, but we're gonna do it. You guys, something very fun just came. Um, I have been waiting for this. This company does not do next day shipping and I'm okay with it. Also, Fragile. I think it says Fragile. Do you know what movie that's from? It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. All right, let's open this. My cat, Moira, my beloved cat, though annoying, thinks, is there something weird going on with my hair? I can't tell. I can't tell. Sorry. Uh, my cat thinks it's time for her to be fed. She would be wrong, but you know, daylight savings or the end of daylight savings really can be hard on us. Cats included. I, if you've been just following along in general, you know, I have been seeking cozy and a lot of that has been candles. I say a lot of that. I've gotten two candles. There's one in here. And I maybe ordered another. But also, in addition to cozy candles, I generally am like, I try to do clean and healthy items, and that includes like my laundry. I try to be body friendly and environment friendly which doesn't always lead to well like never leads to the strongest smells right because things that often smell good we don't know what the fragrance is such as mrs meyers i don't consider that like a green product because oh my gosh uh because we don't know what the fragrance is is it essential oil is it crazy chemicals etc etc anyway i sometimes Want something that smells good. So I also got laundry stuff from this company, Sniff. I thought this Avow Factor smell sounded good. And the green that the, I mean, great, this is beautiful green, uh, the glass was, I was like, I think I need that in my house. So first of all, beautiful package. Swipe bright on a green fig forward scent that raises a glass to the romance of everyday life. Uh, okay. And this was a collab between them and somebody. I don't know who. But anyway, I have this. This is a box within a box, you guys. Does this one come out? It does. A box within a box. Go ahead. Light us. Anyway, so in here. Wow. This green is so pretty. I mean, this is like Emerald City green, yeah? Yes. So this is like a plastic though. This is this is glass, whoa. And then that is a very green candle. I, I like this scent. It is kind of light, which I'm all about. So just, um, so again, I don't know what this fragrance is. I don't think it's listed anywhere what the ingredients are. We're United States were able just to say fragrance. But the wax made with a clean blend of soy wax and vegetable wax with 100% cotton wick. I think my understanding is like wicks sometimes are like not cotton and really bad for us. I don't also, I don't know, yeah. What? Um, okay, there's nothing else helpful on this. I looked back at the website and they had different the other sizes of this. I don't know that I need the huge one, but also like, this is a very pretty green. Would I like more of this green in my life? Either this size, the smaller size, or the big ginormous size. 
that like burns for 200 hours, they claim. The scent is like light maybe a little bit floral. Yeah, I think this is not gonna like overwhelm me and I'm excited about that. I am so excited, you guys, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to light this one tonight. I'm very excited. The other thing that I'm very excited for, which bummer that I just did all my laundry, is laundry stuff. I have just been wanting soap that smells good. Like I wanna get in my bed and be like, mmm, this smells good. I generally do like scent-free stuff. This, I got rain check, the laundry detergent. So everything wash it says. Bergamot uh, geranium, pink pepper, moss, something, vetiver, or canux. Mm. All purpose, deep cleaning, non-toxic, luxe scent, vegan, cruelty free, fabric safe. But yeah, see for the fragrance, it just says fragrance. Okay, pretty. Let's give her a smell. Also like this is like a blush pink. It's not white, I'm sure it looks white to you guys. It is blush pink. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> I really, I don't know. I can't smell it because I wanted to, I was all about the smell. I got their scent, liquid scent booster, laundry fragrance. Yeah, it smells a little bit stronger, but what does it smell like? I don't really know. Um, so we'll see. It doesn't smell bad. It smells good. It smells good, but what does it smell like? Apparently it smells like this, and I don't know how to describe it other than to show you the list. It smells good though. You guys, what is wrong with me? I'm broken. I need a repair. I set my alarm for 5.30, and I woke up. I hit snooze. Well, actually I set my alarm for 5.20, because snooze once. I hit snooze and I immediately knew I was not going to class to work out. And I like in between snoozing for an hour and a half, I ended up snoozing for an hour and a half. I kept thinking like, why? Like I, I'm feeling rested enough. I'm feeling awake enough. My exercise clothes are laid out. Like what, what is it? And I thought, you know, for how much of a zombie I am, like when I wake up, I, I think I'm scared of doing Orange Theory in the morning, <laughs> like that early in the morning. I've done an 8 a.m., I've done a 9 a.m. class, I've done a 10 a.m. class, but I think like there's something about trying to wake up at 5.30 and do such an intense workout that I'm scared. So the next iteration of our attempts here is instead of going to Orange Theory, can I wake up at 5.30 and go to Planet Fitness and just stroll on a treadmill? Coffee's ready, I don't know if you can hear it. Beep, 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 I gotta go get that. Ladies and gentlemen, somehow we've kind of done it. I did not check my phone alarm last night and, oops, I was a little bit worried about it for some reason, and <clears throat> I set my, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, iPad alarm, and thank goodness I did because I did not hear my phone alarm. I did hear my iPad alarm. I snoozed twice, and that made me, like my brain for a second was like, maybe we just don't go to the gym today, and I was like, that is the whole point. <clears throat> so, we got up, we're doing it. I'm making myself a little, Protein smoothie with what I think is the cleanest ingredient protein powder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give that some shake. I'm gonna drink this in the car. The Planet Fitness I wanna go to is a little bit further, I think, than what I was thinking originally. Like, I thought it was closer. It's not. We're getting a little bit later start than what, obviously, than what I intended. That's okay. We'll do a little bit. I like the idea of just going, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm all right baby stepping this. These are all steps in the right direction. Oh, dang it. I didn't do my bag. All right. Let me, I'm gonna run upstairs and grab the bag what I need, swap my things, and then go, because it's already past six. <sighs> OK, 
can you guys see me? That's not sweat. It's pouring down rain. Uh, I'll talk to you when we get back home. I am drenched, but again, from rain. Uh, but we made it, we did it. We're headed home now. I'll see you after I shower. You guys, we did it. We did it. We woke up early, snoozed our alarm twice. Also, not only did my phone alarm like not go off where I could hear it, um, when I was walking into the gym, I realized my phone didn't charge last night and it was on 10%. So what the hell? Anyway, we did it. Woke up, got to the gym, we did 20 minutes. I, well, we'll have to see, like 20 minutes is a great place to start. It's something we went there. Um, the book Atomic Habits that I've read twice now, there was one example of a person who like would go out of their way to go to the gym, not work out and then come home because they wanted to build that like desire, like, oh, if I'm already there, I want to work out. So you know what? We're going to be okay with 20 minutes. The 20 minutes allowed me to get home, shower, and I'll be, be able to get to work on time. That's a win. We did 20 minutes yesterday. We did nothing. Amazing. I think today I'm expecting many things uh, to arrive and I want to open those things and get working on all of that, what the, those projects. And it's for a different vlog, you guys. So if you want to see what projects I have in store. If you want to see whether or not I'm able to create a morning routine that is consistent, which is the number one key, subscribe. Anywho, I'll see you guys again very soon. Thanks for hanging out.